Hey, hey guys, we are joining you right now for our first ever. That's right. What is this called? First ever podcast. And for those of you who uh, have the video going, you can see us on video. This is a video slash podcast. That's right. Yes, and uh, we James got this brand new mic. James, where'd you get this? I got it at Fry's. It's, you know, as you said, it's Black Friday, so I had to go get a good deal. What time? And uh, I got up at 5.30 in the morning. That's why I said that. 5.30 I, in the morning. I didn't I didn't realize that 5.30 came twice in the day, but I did learn that today because I actually woke up at 5 so I could be at Fry's at 5.30. Got a great deal on this uh, awesome mic, so I'm super amped. So you guys are going to get crystal clear sound. Check, check. You're going to hear, gonna hear uh, David's nasals. Yeah, you know, please, God, all don't. Up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so earlier in the week, we asked you to, um, to read the free hit band workout ebook that we had come out and ask some questions so we're gonna go over those today here is uh, if you're watching this on video you can see what we're doing here and if uh, if you're on audio guys we're just gonna do our best to read so it said do you guys have any questions about hurt training hit to hurt training the book Andrea Taylor said happy Thanksgiving Andrea we love you thank yes, you we and do. we do rock <laughs> oh, actually no you rock that's what I meant to say and thank <laughs> we you do too but yeah. you rock too <laughs> no we're we are rocks or something <laughs> yeah something, something like, like that. that James take it away buddy what is uh, go on down the list here sweet yeah yeah we got uh, Kevin Orlin on there and, and he didn't really have a question but he says it's great to see that we're working together David and I he's been following us as well and and uh, we appreciate Kevin so thank you for leaving a comment on there um, I know that Chris Plummer had asked a question earlier I'm just gonna scroll down because uh, it was a good question that he asked and uh, he said isn't it misleading band resistance is only good for maintaining and toning once a person develops a physique and uh, you know I you know I, I answered him back later on and the reality of it is we're, we're not trying to put these band workouts out for Jay Cutler you know big bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, we're not trying to hit Phil Heath and all these massive Ronnie Coleman guys like you know they're not doing band training and if you guys want to look like that you know, I, I'm going to say this probably isn't the best thing for you. It would definitely help you to lean out and tone up. Some good stretches. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, but we're, we're not trying to build to make bodybuilders, nor are we trying to be bodybuilders ourselves. We might be pushing that line at some points in time, but uh, these band workouts are really great for fat burning, and they're really great for toning. So we're not trying to mislead anybody. Um, this is actually something that David and I like to do when we get up in the morning. Instead of waking up and going and hitting the treadmill for speed walking on an empty stomach in the morning or whatever, I hate getting up and had to go to the gym early in the morning to do fasted cardio. It's great to be able to roll out of bed, play these videos, and I'm working out to David and I. You know, and before we film these videos, I just did them on my own. This is a style that I did. David had done it a few times. We liked it. We said, let's put these on video. Um, they're really great, as I said, for fasted cardio. Roll out of bed and work out. You're going to be burning fat through the high intensity resistance training, the hurt, and through the high intensity interval training, the hit. So we got, you know, we'll, we'll answer basics on that later. But do you have anything to add to that, Dave? Um, well, I like, I like to think that we are bodybuilding uh, to, a, to a certain point. And guys, uh, all, all muscles come from really is, is, is a ripping bar muscle tissue and in a sense eating, eating right and it scars over and gets bigger. So what the bands do is they add a resistance. You know, it could be a dumbbell, it could be a barbell, it could be TRX, it could be body weight, it could be anything. Bands are a great form of resistance. And, and you, there are bands that go high enough up in weight, which adds the resistance. And what's fun about bands is they actually get harder the more you, you pull up, which is a little bit different than a cable and even, even more than a dumbbell. You can't swing them. So uh, I do not do all my training with bands, but I'll tell you what, I do some of it. And, and I've, I've been the guy out on vacation where the, the gym just isn't right there. And as James touched on, um, geographically isolated uh, in a location where the gym is too far away, and or like here in LA where the traffic just isn't worth it. I'd rather knock out a, a workout to James Ellis on my TV or, or myself, or you know, I've, I've obviously done it to other people. It's a great idea, we came up with it. Um, and, and rather than sit in that traffic and waste those minutes that I could have been, uh, could have been training. Absolutely. So, what's our next question, bud? Yeah, well, and then Chris later messaged us and just said, you know, he reviewed the Invo and he thinks it sounds like a really great thing. I think he understood that. I'm not, I'm not saying that we necessarily got to where we are from resistance sure. bands. I, I actually uh, was introduced to resistance bands at a photo shoot. You know, it was a great way to pump up before a shoot mm. or, you know, backstage before a competition. But when you really get into this style of training, you're going to learn that you can get the lightest resistance bands. <laughs> and if you're doing our training programs it the way no they joke. are meant to be, yeah. you're going to be fried. So it's, it's all based on you and how hard you decide to push yourself. When you're going for 40 seconds consistent, the same exact exercise, repping it out, and if you're really pushing yourself, you're going to be fried. And, and as you just touched on, you know, there's different resistance type bands, there's different strengths of bands. You can hook up multiple bands to certain kind of bands if you buy them, or you can step out wider on the bands, make more resistance. So 
they're absolutely incredible. You folks are gonna love them, so definitely give it a shot. Chris, I'm happy you understand where I'm coming from now, and uh, and I'm happy that you said, you know, you're saying you can't afford it. We have a really great price going right now if you wanna go and pre-order. Uh, so uh, you folks could, will see that in the email that we sent out later with this video. So, you know, pre-order, folks, before December 3rd, and you can get them for cheaper. Um, well, let's go down to the next one. Uh, who do we got here? Um, it says, uh, oh, you cannot seem to be able to order the video. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, I answered your question. Um, what else do we have? There's a bunch of questions for me. Here, we got Deb, you wanna read that? I don't have any specific questions, Deb, that's good. Um, <laughs> allows us to not give specific answers. <laughs> and uh, she wants to say she loves us, we love her back. Love you back. Talking about and share with others, she likes what we share, that's good. Um, also learned so much from your videos. Hey, we're educational, James. Yeah. I do miss seeing you on Facebook and the other videos, you're always looking great. But more than that, you guys are so nice and kind spirit always comes through. That's very nice. Thank you for the herd info. Um, yeah, so that really wasn't a question, but Debbie, we love you. Yeah, we love you. Right <laughs> uh, back at you, babe. <laughs> Let's scroll down. What is HIT? There you go, David. We kind of talked about High intensity bit. interval training. This is a structured environment where you go as hard as you can. Now, yep. guys, you'll notice in the videos we incorporated a little uh, heart rate monitor type of uh, accountability. And, and what that does is it basically tells you uh, if you're going as hard as you can and that really is high intensity is, is kind of as hard as you can go So what you'll do is you'll you'll pick an exercise after warming up and you'll go as hard as you can go And then you'll rest these are, these are usually done on a 10 seconds on 10, 10 seconds off 10 seconds on means you know working out 10 seconds off is your rest Then you go to 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 30 seconds on a minute off 30 seconds on 90 seconds off 90 seconds 90. It's a structured environment. However, it is you do it ours. We did well, what did we do with ours and James? We did, we did 40 on and 20 off, so we're going 40 uh, at high intensity. Uh, so we did the same. We did it with, with your high intensity resistance training, which you, you talked about hit, but we did high intensity inter resistance training, 40 seconds on, mm -hmm. continuous, and then mm -hmm. 20 second break. We did 10 of those intervals, then we did mm -hmm. five intervals of hit. 40 seconds on, whatever it may be, and 20 seconds off. So you can be fried. I mean, you'll, you'll see in the videos. There, there's a video where David is drenched in sweat <laughs> he's got a massive puddle of sweat underneath him in the middle of the living room yeah flicking he's doing, it on the tv he's doing, he's doing fast jacks <laughs> flinging his arms and he's flinging sweat onto this onto the tv screen so you're gonna i mean if it can push this guy you know i even had my roommate who is he's a he's a decathlon athlete and he he was in college and he's in incredible shape and he did the video with me and he's like dude this is crazy this really pushes you mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or you're a first time beginner, you can do these workouts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because it's, it's all based on, as you just said, you pushing yourself to your maximum potential. And that's what those heart rate monitors are all about. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that later. But well, I want a side note, uh, if you can do butt kicks as stylish as James, if you can make that look good, then uh, send us a video of that. I gotta see that, it might be something in there for you because butt kicks are really hard to make look cool. Yeah, butt kicks, is that what we call them? Butt kicks. Butt kicks, okay. That's right, uh, single leg butt kicks. So we got a question, another question. One day cardio in a week and diet plan is enough to bring up lower abs, I think you're saying lower abs, uh, or what should I do to get them? That's a really great question. And um, no, it's, it's not really enough unless, unless you wanna- Unless you're 6% already. Yeah, exactly. It, it, uh, it does take a lot of work to get the abs in and I think David and I can both uh, uh, attest to that. It's, it, it's a lot of work and you know, when I, especially when I'm getting ready for a shoot, that's what I'm really trying to dial in. I mean, once you get them, then maintenance isn't nearly as bad. Um, but for me, it's like when I'm getting ready for a competition, I'm doing cardio five to seven days a week fasted cardio in the morning 30 to 45 minutes uh, in this case the great thing is I could do this video once or twice so they're 15 minute videos so I could do the video twice or I could do two different videos that morning whatever the case may be I can push myself as hard as I want so I'm doing a lot more fasted cardio and I'm doing a very very strict diet and uh, you know hitting the steam room sauna all that good stuff just to bring out uh, as you know, to get rid of as much fat as possible get rid of as much sweat as possible and then of course I'm working abs you know three to four days a week maybe not every day but I'm working them quite a bit doing a lot of weighted ab training things of that sort David what would you say on that well I'd say it's the wrong question um, and, and it was it was one way to word the question guys but if you really want us to help us um, the question I would like to see here is I weigh 157 pounds I am uh, anywhere from 13 to 18 percent body fat I burn 
2,000 calories a day. During my workout, uh, when it's when it's uh, hurt to hit, I burn uh, 200 calories. When I'm when I'm at the gym and I'm working out for an hour and a half, I burn 700 calories. When I do my cardio for an hour, I burn 500 calories. And when I have those exact numbers, I can tell you how far away your abs are. I need, you know, if you've got five pounds to lose, then you probably don't need to add in a lot of cardio and get it through the workouts. If you have more than five pounds to lose and we're in a hurry, then I'm probably going to throw in some cardio. It also depends on the body type you are. So guys, we are we are here to, to, to help transform the body and expedite that whole process. So one day a week could be fine. I brought somebody in for a contest and they didn't even do any cardio. But their workouts were tracked and they, they were high intensity yep. and, and their, their resistance was was uh, that that their body was burning a lot of calories and they were negative enough calories to thin the skin over the fat and the bumps show up uh, and that would be the six pack. So now we're gonna move into the uh, the real email questions. Yeah. These came in, James uh, threw down on these. Go it's, ahead. It's, it's got real, that's right. Um, <laughs> so the first question um, is from, I believe, his name was Doug. Okay. And um, my partner and I have been following both of you for quite some time on Facebook and are always inspired by your posts. Unfortunately, since we are 30 years older than you, our results are nothing like yours <laughs> yourselves. Uh, but I believe we are doing excellent for our ages. David will definitely touch on that age thing later. Um, <laughs> touch and, on my birthday here in a yeah, in No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I know you've trained some, some older men. Oh, okay, and, okay. Yeah. And uh, he says, uh, I, I've been interested in band workouts for quite some time and have used them in the past, but the bands, uh, the bands you use have handles where my old ones didn't. Wow, that's different. Uh, can you recommend the bands we should be using? Do you, do they come in various strength weight? Yeah, and uh, I'm interested in getting bands as I believe these workouts would be easier on my partner as we build up the strength of his joints and uh, better base before start. Okay, yeah, okay. So thank you for your question, Doug. Um, I, uh, let me go back to the top here. It's really great. I, I want David to first touch on the age because David, I know that you've trained, uh, some older guys. Um, and, uh, I'm pretty sure that you could, you could say you've, you've shredded out some oh older my guys. Uh, uh, I think age is an excuse folks. Don't, don't use it. You don't need that excuse. Doug. Excuses are excuse guys. Good hell. We all have a potential. Try to reach it. If you're 70 or 30 or 20 or 16, you got one leg or three. Potential is potential. You had a needle in your arm or you didn't. You're a junk or you weren't. Everybody has an excuse. I hate those things. Yes, you you, you know what? Yep, you are 30 years older than me. You know what? It does suck to get lean just like it does at 30. Yep. It's hard. Everybody, it's always hard. But you know what? Potential is also amazing. And it's always going to be amazing no matter your age. So if you're 60, you're 30 or you're 20, give me some potential, man. That's what life's about. Yep. So, so yes, you can thin your skin. I've seen it. I've seen some of the most amazing things happen to skin. And, and whether you've got a lot of bumps underneath and whether you've got injuries, whether you're sore, hell, it hurts to walk down the stairs. You can still be shredded because it just means you ate less than you burned for long enough to thin your skin. It's very, very simple, guys. So please, please, please don't walk around with excuses no matter your age. I thought my life was over at 30. I did. I thought I had a guy tell me he'd never once been lean his whole life at 50. He was one of the most shredded things I've ever seen in my life at 52. Stupid. Yep. I'm gonna go grab a charger. You uh, you answer the other question. I'll be right back, guys. All right, all right. So yeah, to, to answer the question further, um, yes, the, the bands you can get. Uh, we actually have some online. We'll, we'll go ahead and send out those links to where you can order some bands, uh, some specific locations you can order them online. Uh, otherwise, you can go to Target. You can pick up bands there. They have some great bands there. <laughs> There's David in the background. Uh, they have great bands at Target, Walmart, things like that. The bands that we actually use in the video, I got at Target and uh, they have three different resistances and uh, they actually have them right here. So there's uh, three different resistances. You can hook them one at a time or you can hook all of them up. Um, but yeah, these are really great bands and uh, they work. So if you wanna go to Target, that's fine. Um, David and I are gonna start working with some other band companies and you could maybe check those out in the future too. So um, I believe that pretty much answers your question. Um, and yes, these resistance bands are gonna be better for joints. So um, I would give them a shot. Uh, you can strengthen up his joints. Make sure he's taking some glucosamine as well because that's great for joint health too. Uh, get your vitamins in, folks, your calcium, minerals, things of that sort. Um, so yeah, uh, let me scroll down to the next question. Thank you, Doug, again for your support uh, to David and I. I know you said you've been following us for a while. Um, we're super amped to have you following us, sir. Um, all right, so now we have, uh, now we have Doug. Let's see. Uh, 
Doug says, you guys look awesome and obviously know what you're talking about. That said, this seems to be more of a mass marketing and I think for me, I need something more personalized. I also think that both of you do a lot of serious lifting as well and to maintain and grow your size. Very, very, very uh, good question there. Kind of a question, but um, yes, it is kind of a mass marketing thing. We're trying to reach uh, more people than just guys that want to look like us. Uh, we want to reach women uh, that, uh, you know, their, their training style is a little bit different. Uh, we also want to reach the, the guy that's the first time in the gym. But at the same time, we're still reaching guys that want to look like us too because this stuff works for us. This isn't necessarily all that I do. Um, I do go to the gym still. Like I said before, I get up in the morning. Sorry about that. We just plugged in the, the computer, so we're not going to die on you folks. We will not die on you. We're going to persevere. Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, I get up in the morning and I'll, I'll hit these workouts. Fasted. This is like my fasted cardio and I'm getting resistance training in at the same time. So um, it's a really great way to do that. And beyond that, you know, I, I can hit the gym in the evening and do my hardcore weight training, things of that sort. So I think David probably just read the question. Doug, the Mar thanks for the Marty. Oh, Marty, 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 Marty. Yeah. Thanks for the compliment, buddy. And we do what we're talking about. That's nice. Um, <laughs> that said, this seems to be like more of a mass marketing. I missed your answer, but I, yeah. I, I agree. You know what? You're right. That's what I said. Um, bands are for everyone and for anyone. Mm -hmm. The one fun thing about this is... It's like, uh, I want you to imagine doing uh, burpees. Burpees are pretty much for everyone that, that can functionally train, like, right? Like that? Like, like the burp? That's, that no, that's an out. Oh, that, oh okay. <laughs> that's not the burpee you're an talking up, about. Down, an up, down, up, down, body weight. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it, got it. James. <laughs> Ladies Excuse <watching>. me. <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, the reason why I'm saying that is, is if you do enough burpees, it's going to be a great, great exercise. And great workout, calories in, calories out, awesome stuff. <clears throat> excuse me, calories out. Now, with bands, they allow us to kind of teach and, and host a class that everybody, no matter your athletic ability, yeah. uh, can, can join and buy and appreciate. So, uh, granted, we can uh, follow Weeder principles with bands to a point, but you're gonna you're gonna run out of, of some of the the old traditional muscle building exercises with bands, and that's fine. These are not here to replace them. You know, Marty, you're right, but they are here to complement them, and they do. And and uh, one of the one of the things that I, I thought was really neat that James and I did is James actually uh, he's had a chance to do it already, and I haven't. But he trained to the video. Okay, so one of the things, one of our senses of accountability, we all want them. That's what we do. Is will this video kick our butt, James? If you trained to yourself, did you really try? And then when you're training yourself, watching yourself do this. Did it, was it hard? I mean, you're a badass. You're, you're on covers of magazines right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Today, he's on two, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, it, 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 you know, this is no joke. We're not messing around here. We're not gonna rob anybody of their dream and tell you to do something that doesn't work. Now you shove a pie down your hole after you do this exercise, then I'm sorry, you're right. You know, we can't, we can't do that for you. But as far as ripping apart muscle tissue and, and burning calories through cardio and, and, and strength training, uh, following these, these exercises put together, in this format, sold to you on, a, on, a, uh, on a, uh, the electronic downloadable file. Yeah, you're you're gonna you're, you're gonna feel your muscles burn, and you're gonna burn fat doing it. So I, I think that to answer the question, um, no, it's not how I built all the muscle in my biceps. But I'll tell you what, it's how I'm keeping a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. and and it's it's you know. It's great, it's high intensity, we're burning fat and we're toning, and then we can hit the gym in the evening and get more in. So uh, we can do the video multiple times, we wanna burn more fat. Um, I'm looking forward to doing these around time when I'm getting prepped for, for cover shoots and uh, for the expos, because instead of going to the gym, like I said before, and I was doing this before, but I've never done it to myself in the morning, because they're, level, they're, they're out now. Yeah. So yeah, it's, you know, I, I, did it, I did it with my roommate, Ethan, and, and he absolutely loved them, and uh, it's the only time I've ever done them. So I haven't done this, my videos, our videos, uh, when I'm prepping for shoots or expos. So I'm super amped to do that. Instead of just waking up and rolling out beside my bed and just doing whatever I feel like doing in my mind, uh, I'll have a timer. There's a timer in these videos, and um, it's uh, it's going to be great. And it's I'll, a and challenge, I'll, guys. Good heck. I'll focus on using, because David's the pro on, um, on the uh, heart rate monitor training, so I'll focus on using those as well, uh, those heart rate monitors, and, and I'm super amped about it. So, yeah. So Good question, Marty. All right. <laughs> You're gonna make those bigger, huh? Yeah, I would say so. 
I don't know how to scroll down. Well, let's make them a little bit bigger for everybody to see. Yep. <laughs> and that just to there is fine. <clears throat> All right, that's Tanya, it. Tanya, take it away. All right, Tanya. So she says, love your Thanksgiving video <laughs> with you chasing David while he acts like a turkey. You guys I'm a are turkey. funny. Yeah, he is a turkey, so that, that was no act. Tanya, how do you know I'm not a turkey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was lucky he didn't get caught for Thanksgiving, so he wasn't cooked. I had but, a gun. Uh, yeah, exactly. After after those uh, the meal you had last night, though, you're probably gonna cook yourself with these workout <laughs> you videos, know. right? Working out like crazy. So, yeah, we, we definitely put in that extra pie and all that good stuff. So we'll be putting in some extra workouts here. I'm happy you liked them, Tanya. We, um, you know, our philosophy on life is just to have fun. I mean, we enjoy working out. We love the gym. Um, and, uh, you know, but we are serious about what we do. It's our craft. It's our job. But at the same time, why can't you have fun at your job? Dorks you know? with muscles. That's right. Dorks with muscles. Absolutely. So uh, I, I certainly don't mind. That's uh, really cool. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so cool. Personality's gone, guys. I'm, maybe, I'm like, I'm gonna stand here like. Maybe that's cool. what we'll call, you know, if we Chuck if we face. if we decide to move forward after these videos, maybe we'll just be called Dorks with Muscles. Dor <laughs> That'll be our new name. We just Better came get up a with our name. First. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Better close the deal before we roll with that name. Yeah. So thank you so much, Tanya. I'm happy you liked the video, and uh, we just like to have fun, as I said. So yeah. that's what we did. You know, Dave, it was actually David's idea. He's like, chase me like I'm a turkey, and we'll film it, and we'll see if we like it. And, I had a lot of pre-workout. Yeah, exactly. I mixed it with my Vitargo. Yeah, that's right. And it uh, speeded it up a little bit. Exactly. James, who's your sponsor right now? Yeah, I got SciTech Nutrition happening. Sci I got to move into the. Uh, I got my Shields of Strength on. Yeah, absolutely love them. They're great. They rock. The colors are popping. Yeah, They're very similar right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's rolling. I'm rolling with the red, fine. and he's rolling with the the orange. It's nice. Rock on. Yeah. All right. So we. Uh, I have heard of Hit, but. What does hurt mean? Sounds painful, laugh out loud. That's Perfect. what James said. That's what we wanted yeah. to. It, 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 it sounds painful and it is painful, um, but in a good way. And, yeah. and we already kind of touched on this already, Jim, as you probably heard already. High intensity interval training is what HIT is. Um, and you said you knew that. And hurt is high intensity resistance training, kind of a new term that uh, David came up with several, many, many years ago. And then it was actually on the internet before we actually launched this. Uh, we were surprised to see. But he and a buddy came up with hurt. And uh, they didn't patent it at the time, so he can't necessarily claim it uh, through legalities. But, anyways, um, that's what it is: high-intensity resistance training, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna rock your world. So you got to give it a shot, Jim. And if it's not painful, then you're not working hard enough. And it's a cool, cool <laughs> name. Hurt training? Are you kidding me? That's right. We could call it super uncomfortable training, but that just doesn't sound as cool. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean. Yeah, so you guys, you guys will not love injured training. We're not calling it injured no, training. No, we're not trying. We're not trying to hurt you or no, injure no, no, you. No, no, no. But that's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, exactly. Pain in the muscle to me, you know, equals hurt. Uh, some people want to scream at us for, for, or especially me for using these abrasive words like hurt. Um, when I say that, guys, always and and redundantly, I'll probably follow it up with something like this. I don't mean injure. I just mean that it's well beyond uncomfortable. Okay, well, well, well beyond. If you've got another word in there, why don't you put it in the comment below besides hurt and beyond uncomfortable, and I'll use that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. What's this one? I know David is really into the heart rate monitor training. Do you incorporate that into your 15 minute hurt to hit workout videos? What exactly is the breakdown of those intervals, intensity time to breakdown? It's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, right? Yep. Exactly. And uh, yes, we do incorporate the, the heart rate training. It's, it's hard to get a lot of that in because we're busting butt. But essentially, um, you, you wear the watch and it's gonna have a little screen on there and it'll show you your heart rate at the time. When the heart rate goes to uh, a certain number, and that's usually in the, depending on your age, but you know, your, your 150 to, to 180 uh, mark, that means you're in your high intensity part. And, and the interval is where you get to rest. Now, the heart rate will drop at that point, but to me that really doesn't matter. Okay, your heart rate could drop all the way down low, it means you're in great shape, or it could drop three beats and you're starting back again at 170. Uh, the, 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 the other thing that the heart rate monitor does, which is really important, besides tell you if you're kicking butt or not, and if you're actually doing the exercise right, is it tells you what you did while you were there. So you'll, you'll close out the watch and it'll give you a number in a file uh, for your calories burned. Now you can add up all those calories burned and that allows you to adjust your diet. So yeah, we do touch on a little bit of that stuff. It's obviously in the book and we, we cover all that stuff. Um, but uh, the, the watch for these videos is, is in a sense just set up to give you accountability to make sure 
that while you spend your time with us, besides doing the exercises right and following our adjectives and, and, and keeping up with us, is to make sure your, your output, you pick the right weight and, um, and you're giving it all you have. So there's something that's really cool about ending the workout with a smile beyond sweat on your shirt, beyond James and me blowing smoke up your butt saying you did a good job, thanks for waking up early. It's literally a number that says, you know what, you tried, you there. It's like a paycheck at the end of the week, it's really nice. So. Yep, it's your accountability. So, along with us, we're your accountability yeah. too. So you, you got you got to let us know how how the workouts are going. Let us know how we can uh, motivate you and push you harder. Uh, we want to see you guys get results as bad as you do because we want to see you guys continue to come back to love our stuff. And yeah. we're gonna try to keep it as fun, exciting, um, whatever the case may be. We're gonna try to push you as hard as we can. And uh, we're excited to see you guys get results. We're excited to see photos. I want to see before and after. Guys, no program ever did well without transformations. So yep. do you think we'd come out with one and not try to get transformations? Which means yep. we'd have to make our program work, which means it would have to work. Yep. Uh, otherwise, we're kind of wasting our lives here because as, as well as this is going to go right now, without the pictures of you guys actually transforming your bodies, it won't yep. go. And, um, and so... <laughs> We, we wrote it that way, we support it that way, and we believe in it that way, and we are looking forward to the pictures as you guys send them in. Well, and, and, and as you guys, you know, you download the ebook, you, you've seen our before and after pictures. You've seen that David was heavy, you've seen that I was skinny. We've proven that we can do it. Let's have the we, argument right now, I wanna have the argument. No. I don't think I've ever even talked to you about this. No. James, what is harder? Coming from a fat guy, I'm gonna scream all day long, all day long, that, that making my body eat itself eat itself, eat the extra cookies I already had. Oh my gosh, it's the most, uh, it's the worst experience ever. Your body's literally eating you and you're aware of it. I think that that's harder than, oh my gosh, I have to eat so much because I don't have any muscle. I just can't fit <laughs> any more food in and I just can't put on this muscle. It's, it's just, it, I mean, tell me but tell me what it's like to be, uh, to not be fat and to be trying to put on muscle coming from a fat guy trying to lose fat to show off muscle. Yeah, I mean, and I, you know, I think for me, it was, it was, uh, you know, I was, I was always a skinny kid. I graduated high school. If you guys have read my bio, I was 135 pounds when I graduated high school. Um, you know, I, I, I weighed nothing, had no muscle, but from third grade all the way through high school, I had abs because I was doing push-ups and sit-ups, and I ran cross country from third grade all the way through high school and a little bit into college, and uh, so I was. You know, I, I couldn't put on any muscle, and and uh, I definitely couldn't put on any fat because I, I was running 80 miles a week in the summertime when I was in when I was in high school. So um, I could eat as much as I wanted, pasta, whatever, and I wasn't gonna put on any fat. I was always gonna have the abs. They weren't like they are now, but you know, I definitely had the hint of abs because I was so skinny. Um, but uh, when it came to trying to put on muscle, it was it was just next to impossible. So it was until I kind of quit running so much and really hit the gym and got serious about it that I really started getting results in that way. Um, to go with your argument, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, if what's I ever, harder? if I ever decided to quit lifting, I would get skinny. I would go back to being skinny. Okay, but what's harder? When yeah. you got, you got the and, fat and guy gonna, versus the skinny guy face off, and I, who and has I, it worse? And I think that we, you know, our experiences would say you definitely have it harder. Um, you know, when you're, you know, you eat a cupcake and you're going to gain weight overnight, you know, where I eat a cupcake, it's not going to change that much for me, you know. But losing fat is easier yeah. than building muscle, I think. Oh. So if you lose your muscle very easily, yeah. that can also be a pain in the butt. Because, I mean, I mean the, the ectomorphs are some of the guys that, that uh, don't put on fat easily. They've got a pretty good argument that it, it is, I mean, the fat guy can always say, oh, my body's got to eat itself, which thank you for yeah. letting me have that. But yeah. the argument is so much deeper than that. Because, yeah. I mean, it really is a fight. And I've let the two face off, the fat guy and the skinny guy, and listen to both arguments. And i got to say, I don't know what's harder. Maybe you guys can leave that in the comments, too. What, what do yeah. you think is harder? Putting on muscle uh, from an ectomorph or a guy that has a hard time gaining muscle, your, your 13-inch arm guy, um, versus the 26-inch uh, arm guy trying to get it back down to 17. What's harder? Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, that's good. I mean, I mean, I think a it's... A lot of years of training, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Were you suffering is. more than me? I don't think so. But, I mean, it's like the James and I could both tear our ankle right now. Which one hurts more? Yeah. You know, you're always just thinking you're suffering more inside your own world. That's kind of how the world works as we all, you know, yeah. like to think we're special like that. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, okay. So... Give us your answers on that, would you? Yeah, I'm that's... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that as well. So tell me what you think. Tell me where you're coming from. Are you coming from, or are you the skinny guy, or are you the heavy yeah. guy? Um, where are you coming from? And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll learn more from David and I as, as we do more podcasts, as we do more everything, as you read our bios, whatever. You'll learn about our past, where we came from. You know, David had a... Definitely had an extra, he had a big keg sitting there in front of him that he was carrying around. Kimberly, where's all your before pictures? Where, I, mean, I only see one or two. Hey, guys. 
I, I was fat. I didn't want to take my shirt off. I was embarrassed. I had this hot chick as a girlfriend, and like everywhere we went, she just, like I didn't, I, just take pictures of her. Be, you let her be seen. So you're gonna see a few pictures of my face, just no jawline, this nice, happy, round face. Uh, miserable looking fake smile. Uh, so, so as you ask that question, just I promise you, I looked everywhere for pictures. I had no idea that you know when I got to Hollywood that being fat was cool. If you had a six pack, like I didn't, I had somebody. Oh, you? Were, I mean, I was on two magazines. Like I used to be fat. Yeah. Mm. Well, give me show. No way. Show me a picture. Yeah. And I finally went and, and uh, was able to find one of two or three pictures of me being fat for ten years. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you're always wondering where those are, they're non-existent because I didn't take them. And if you if you're heavy set right now, you're above 26% body fat. Ask yourself how many pictures you're taking without your shirt on. And if you are, your self-esteem's higher than mine, and you're married. <laughs> exactly. Well, on the same on my end, I mean, I had a little bit of a six-pack, but I, I don't have a lot of, of pictures before either. So, I mean, I didn't have any muscle. I was embarrassed. Yeah. You know, my, my chest was as flat as every other part of my body, you know, so I, I didn't want to take a lot of pictures. Um, so, same with me, you know. Uh, Let's go on to the next question. We, uh, these workouts, this is from Ryan, these workouts are only 15 minutes each, right? Is that really enough time to get any kind of results? Also, will these resistance bands really push me? What do you think? Um, results, results are relative, yes. Uh, depends on your results. If you have uh, 50 pounds of fat to lose, you might wanna do two, three videos a day. If you don't and you're just looking to get a, a quick workout to to stimulate the muscles and have them, like I said, always you know scar over and get a little bit bigger, then yes, it will. Uh, what was else in the question? The bands will really push you. <laughs> the bands are painful. You know, uh, when, when you're curling that thing, it's, if you're actually leaving your, I like to always incorporate biceps, right? So if you're actually leaving your elbow where it goes, I'm not doing this, I'm actually fighting the resistance um, structurally and, and with good form. So if you actually follow, and I, I dare you to try to keep up with James, the guy's a rabbit. Um, <laughs> you're, you're gonna, uh, it's just another level of, of resistance so yes they work very very well it's not the only thing I would incorporate but you know what if if you're just getting started or you, even you're, you're you're an intermediate these are plenty you can really 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 work yourself with these things yeah. absolutely well I think that's uh, I believe that's our last question what um, I'm not done talking uh, yeah I know I we, we, we'd like to talk some some more um, what do you want to talk about let's just ramble on Let's talk, about, Let's talk about turkeys. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Turkeys. I'm fat. Let's talk about you turkeys who <laughs> haven't gone and pre-ordered our video and saved yourself some cash Ooh, on Black Friday. That was a good in. That yeah. was a nice Yeah, yeah. yeah. Turkeys. Yeah, Come on. Turkeys. Are you scared? I mean, maybe we, we should call them chickens, turkeys. right? I mean, now it's chicken. Turkey, chicken, whatever. I don't know if it's whatever. a good idea to call it. I mean, uh, there okay, could be yeah, some yeah, big yeah, sons there of There could be some or, big or, dudes. Yeah. Uh, no, okay, you guys are not turkeys or chickens. <laughs> you are... Um, you are you are you are not very fast to to order the ebook. That's which, right. Which is slow of you. <laughs> no, wait, that's that's what I, I added that in there because David <laughs> ended, ended our turkey video that way. He said he said you turkeys. Oh wait, so, I call them turkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not funny. Yeah, that's not no, funny at all. I'm that not is funny. Just that's mean. not funny. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> J oh, James was a turkey. Did I call James a turkey? I don't think so. You oh. you, you you pointed to the camera. <laughs> we're turkeys. We're, uh, <laughs> we're looking at our video guy. He's pointing at us. We don't know what you're <laughs> he's saying. Calling, he's calling us turkeys. <laughs> uh, so anyways, oh, um, we are, uh, yeah, I, I encourage you guys in this email, we will put, we'll still put in the pre-order. Uh, you can pre-order up until I think December 3rd, they go on sale. So you can pre-order and save yourself some cash. So go, go pre-order, save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, you know, uh, we're all about helping you guys to save. Once they get put out, I think they go up to, they're going to be $60. Um, so, you know, for six videos, that's not bad. And, and let me, let me, ext let me, uh, elaborate a little bit on that because, um, when I train people, I have guys that fly in from other states and I charge them $200 a training session. So uh, I, I think a value of six training sessions is pretty darn good for $60. And you're getting not only me, but you're getting Dave and I. So I'd pay him $100 just to yeah, stay here. Right yeah. Now. I'm just trying to help to put a value on this for yeah. you folks um, because I really do charge $20, $200 a session. And, um, you know, while the, the session's usually about an hour, uh, even still, $200 for an hour. And we're giving you uh, a bunch of videos that are, you know, 
we're giving you six videos, which is actually six different workouts for 60 bucks. So a uh, very good deal. We were going to charge more and we said, you know what, let's not do that. Let's, let's charge 60 bucks. We want to, we want to show people how much fun we are. We want to show people how much we can help you to get results. So, um, I highly encourage you check out the videos and we want to, we want feedback. We want to know what you guys think. We want to know, matter of fact, if these go great, we want to know ideas. If you guys have ideas on things that Dave and I can do together that you're like, if you guys did this, I would be so on board with that. Give us the ideas. Keep Help it clean, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. We have an audience that's very, just keep it clean. Whatever you post on our book, on our pages. I had to say that, James. I'm sorry. Absolutely. But I get yeah. some weird stuff in my inbox, guys. Yeah, yeah, me too. I agree. I got a gnat flying in my face. Keep it clean. So if you haven't downloaded this ebook yet, I mean, that's really what this video is all about. So if you haven't downloaded the ebook yet, download it. It's free, folks. That's another thing we were doing for you guys. We wanted to give you a free ebook, so hopefully you get the free ebook. This will be uh, in the email. You yep. can click on the attachment. Um, Download the download. Get your pre-sale. If you don't, then you know. If you want to pay us a little extra, we love you for that. And too. What are the if tricks? We don't wait. want them downloading them on their phone. We want them to be on the computer, right? That's it. That's yeah, it. download them on your computer. Um, I know with the iPhone, um, I've you know I've done workout video downloads in the past, um, and uh, I downloaded my computer. And if I want to transfer it to my iPhone, I can do that through iTunes. I don't know how it works with everything else, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, that's what I would do. Just download it to your computer. It's the safest way to do it. We are gonna put them. I believe we're gonna put them in a zip file. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's our web guy. That, that's not our expertise. So uh, I believe he's gonna put them in a zip file, and then you would open them up, download them on your computer, and you can transfer them to your phone if you need to. But they are pretty large files. So you guys, we shot them in high resolution. We tried yeah. to give you a great product here, and you know, a couple videos, uh, or excuse me, a couple cameras, and and so we can only shrink it so much. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna really hurt the content, and you know, James and I want to look good, right? Yeah. As good as, as good as possible to say that. So we, we couldn't really dumb up the footage too much or it wouldn't look good. So you won't be able to download it, or you could on your iPhone, but it's just gonna take a minute. Highly suggested to your computer, and then when you transfer it down, you'll, you'll get that quality content we wanted you to have and the experience getting the information that we wanted you to have. And the dumbest thing in the footage was actually David and I. And you know, so and I graduate. I actually graduated college with, 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 with a three point five GPA. Oh, so really, the dumb. No, just get What's college. <laughs> What's college? No, <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, we we definitely like you said. We wanted to keep it in high res and not. And the reason for that is because we're not really planning on you watching it on your phone, folks. This is for you to do at home. We're not even planning on you watching it on your fifteen inch laptop. Folks, I want you to hook it up to your TV, your big 50 inch in the other room or whatever you have, the biggest screen that you have, I want you hooking it up to that and getting an awesome picture. You know, you'll see David and I filmed it in his living room because we want to show you that you can do these workouts in your living room. Hook it up to your TV, work out to it. It's awesome, you know, and, and you know, you just go buy an HDMI cable, whatever. James the just wants you to see bigger pictures of us because we work so hard on our image. That's right. If you're working out with an iPad or you are working out with a. a, a uh, what do you call those things? A phone? A little phone? phone yeah. What do you call yeah, those? Uh, uh, smartphones. There yeah. you go. Smartphone. Because remember, I'm dumb. That was, that was funny. <laughs> you guys are supposed go. to be laughing right now. Uh, so no matter what you're working... But you have a smartphone. Yeah, see, now I'm dumb again. I, I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. you, whatever you're watching it on, guys, it doesn't matter. In fact, I just assume you be, you watch me small now. Um, you're going to get a great workout. Some of it's the audio. Really, we do a lot of coaching, and yep. uh, and you, you want to hear that. So I, to, to me, when I was trying to train along here, I wasn't always able to stare at the screen. So really, anywhere you, you are, as long as you have your bands and this, this uh, video saved on your devices, you can train anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, and, and uh, you know, I'll quickly, you know, just... As I was saying, you can hook up, hook it up to your TV, hook your hook your laptop, whatever it is, up to your TV through an HDMI cable of some sort, or you can use a Chromecast or uh, Apple TV. You know, wirelessly connect to your computer uh, or to your TV. Uh, but we want, to, you know, we wanted the best resolution. We got very good high def, and we have great sound because we have mics that go right to our mouths. Very so, professional. Um, they are top of the line, folks. We did the very best for you because you're special, and we love you, and we want you to have the best. Yes. So, and I'm saying all this because the guy that you know. Is really behind it all is sitting on the other side of the monitor, and we're, we're giving him magic. props right now as we are doing this. He, he, he put makeup on us. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, if uh, if you guys are a little overwhelmed on what we just said, you don't know what an HDMI cable is, and, and guys, I I sent my first email at 25. James was graduating college around then, and I. I, uh, I literally, I didn't have an email account. I, I was swinging a hammer. I knew nothing about that stuff. So if, if to simplify it, you walk into a Best Buy or anywhere and you say, hey guys, I have this kind of computer. I have a Windows or I have a Mac. And I want it to hook up to my TV. The nice gentleman or, 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 or lady, no, no matter the age, 
because this is pretty easy stuff. We'll take you and, and sell you 10 or ten dollars worth of cables or something you'll be able to hook your computer up or your ipad to the tv so just simplify it for yourselves you don't know what you're getting walk into the store and they'll just tell you exactly what you need and give it to you yep absolutely so anything else Is i hope this, i hope the sound on my awesome new uh mic was good for you folks and um, uh i hope you guys enjoy the funny picture of david over here screaming. i never smile why am i always screaming he's always screaming i'm angry he's always screaming why. But he doesn't scream at you in the videos. Oh. I, just I'm so screaming you know. to you. I'm yeah. asking you a question. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm just making sure you heard me. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So yeah, you know, you guys are gonna love the videos. We're excited to uh, work out with you, help you to get into shape, uh, share some of the tips that we've learned over the years, and uh, I think that's about it. Let us know if this thing worked too. Yeah, absolutely. And keep the questions coming. You can always ask on my Facebook, David's Facebook. Don't ask me um, anything. Yeah, don't ask oh, him anything. Sorry. <laughs> ask. No, ask me. Yeah, exactly. Ask me, ask, no, ask us. Right? Ask us. Ask us. Okay. Ask us. Right. Yeah. Sorry, you can ask me stuff. I forgot. Now he's trying to act. Now he's trying to act dumb. He's yeah. trying to really fit the rules. It's working. And I think I think we're also going to probably start a fan page soon uh, as well, so you'll be able to ask questions there. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep sending you guys emails, keeping you in the loop on everything, and uh, look forward to uh, working out with you in your living room, folks. Should we do our next video on how to wax your nose hairs? I don't know. Do I Guys, that's a trick. If you want to see a video on how I wax nose hairs, I hate trimming, but there's a trick. Yeah. I go to these uh, esthetician conferences with uh, one of the sponsors, South Sea Skincare. You know about them. And yeah. so I'm stuck in a room full of all sorts of people, and they teach me these tricks. Yeah. So beyond strength training and, and thinning your skin and building bumps underneath it, we can also show you how to keep the scragglers from coming out. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little older, and the hairs, they start coming out of weird places. you got to make sure they're not around. So our next video can be on that. How do you get those back hairs? I don't know about those. No. I don't have those yet. No, I actually don't have back hairs either. But uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> I never noticed. It's, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think I do. I don't look back there. They're, they're not in the pictures anyway. It's a fun first date, back shaving date. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video um, or listening yeah. to yeah. this podcast. Is that, that's right. Podcast. Yeah, tell us if we suck or not, too. This is our yeah, first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were totally chill on it. Or if we we're, we're amazing. We weren't like as prepared that, as maybe we should have been, but we really wanted to get Dude, this out kidding? to you. We have a brand new yeah. microphone thingy here. Yeah. Yeah. What is it called? What it's, we call it? it's the uh, the, blue, uh, the, the blue Yeti. The Yeti! Yeti! Yeah. But we're, I think we're going to get one of those screens to go in front of it to make our voices sound better. Yeah. What do you call that? So we don't... So we don't <laughs> Yeah, because otherwise you spit into it and it makes weird Should noises. Should we wrap before we go? Should we wrap? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 think, I think that might be more embarrassing than anything. <laughs> James and David are trying to teach you fat burning skills with hit training and band training hurt painful things. Take it away. I got nothing. I got nothing, folks. I can break dance for you, but I don't think the frame is big enough. Anyways, well, folks, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to listen to this. We made it nice and long for you. <laughs> we're gonna, we're, he's going to close us out with it, with the wrapping while I talk. I can't wrap. This white boy wrap. I kind of <laughs> know what I'm doing. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. We'll keep more videos coming for you. And uh, stay in shape. You know, Let us help you burn that fat after your turkey meal that you had for Thanksgiving. Keep eating your leftovers. December 3rd, you're going to have the videos you can train to. So see you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for not being annoyed. And thanks for smiling. Cut.